Hi, Jordan and Jordani. It's Mrs. Avila, your ESL teacher. Uh, yesterday, we read a book about what pet we should get. Um, we talked about uh, different animals and how different children thought that different pets were a good animal or how they thought that they were a bad animal to choose, right? So the first thing that we talked about was we talked about what an opinion is. So can one of you tell me what do you think an opinion is? Okay, Jordan, what do you think an opinion is? Yeah, so basically, when um, if you say if you step outside and you say, oh, it's very cold out today, and your brother says, no, I don't think it's cold today. I think it's warm out today. That would be a difference in opinion. So remember, an opinion is uh, something that we think or we believe or we feel, right? So an opinion. So in the book that we read, we talked about different opinions. Then also we talked about the concept of pro and con. So can you remember from yesterday's book, what is a pro? Okay, Jordani? Yes, so a pro is something good. A pro is a good reason why we would want to have a certain animal as a pet. So pro is a good reason, good. How about um, con? Do we remember what a con is? Yes, Jordan. So a con is something bad, like a bad reason or negative. And the way that we know that it's good or bad, remember we use the words. We use the words in the book to tell if it's good or bad, right? We also in the book used the pictures and labels. So let's look again. I'm going to share the book we were reading. Okay, so here's the book we were reading, What Pet Should You Get? So here we have, for pro, we have thumbs up, and for con, we have thumbs down, right? So let's look again to remember, what pet should you get? So we talked about all the different animals that we could think about to have as a pet, right? We talked about the different animals yesterday. And we talked about pros and cons. Here we have different children. They have different opinions about what they think is a good pet or what they think is a bad pet. So we talked about the word opinions yesterday. Then we looked at different animals. So remember yesterday, the one little girl, she thought that a dog would be a good pet and she gave reasons that she thought it should be a good pet. Now, first we see a little picture here. We see pro and a thumbs up, right? So thumbs up. So this is a good reason. So again, let's review from yesterday. What are some words on the page that make us think that, oh, she believes that a dog is a good pet? What was something that tells you it was good? What word do you think would tell you that? Okay, good. So good, Jordani. So great. So she uses the word get a dog for a great playmate. So great, right? That's a that's a word that means good. It means something positive. So that would be a pro. Okay, then on the next page, we have a little boy. Um, he feels that a dog would not be a good pet to get right. It would not be a good pet. So let's look at the the page here and see what words do we see on the page that would show us that he feels it would be a bad pet? Besides our con, our little picture here, con with the upside down, little thumbs down, what else do we see here that would um, show that a dog would not be a good pet? Okay, good, Jordani. So we see yuck, right? And yuck means something ugh, icky, right? Yuck. So yuck would be something that shows it would not be a good idea. How about worst? Do we understand what worst means? Yeah, so worst means something bad. 
So worse, the worst thing is that you have to clean up after them. So it's the little boys mentioning different reasons that would be a, a bad reason to have a dog, right? And then we, we looked together yesterday at other pets. Um, we looked at the good and the bad reasons um, that you could have a certain animal as a pet. So good, good job. So I'm gonna stop sharing uh, the book. Okay, so um, I asked you yesterday at the end of class to think about today, we were gonna think about a pet, so an animal that we think would be a good pet, and then we're gonna come up together with reasons why it would be a good pet, and then we're going to think about a pet, like an animal that we would not want to get, right? And we're gonna think about some cons, some reasons that would not be good to have that animal as a pet. So what we're gonna work on today, I'm gonna to go ahead and share. Um, we have a graphic organizer that we're gonna work on together. Okay, so see here, are you able to see, are you able to see the screen? Okay, so here we have a graphic organizer. We have pet here on the left side, if you could see my mouse, here is a pet you should get. So we have the thumbs up showing us this would be pros, this would be good things. And then here on the other side of the graphic organizer, we have pet you should not get. So this would be cons, like thumbs down. So here I've listed both of your names um, so that we can talk about what type of animals um, that we want to put in our graphic organizer for animals we would not want and animals we would like, right? So how about let's start with um, Jordan. Let's start with what animal you think that you would like as a pet. So let's go ahead and write it down. What animal uh, would you like to have as a pet that you think would be a good pet? Okay, a dog. So you think a dog would be a good pet? Okay, good. So let's think about together, let's think about some reasons of why, right? Why do we think a dog would be a good pet? What are some pros, some good reasons why a dog would be a good pet? Okay, go ahead and tell me. Okay, first we can play with a dog. Okay, good. So we can play with a dog. Um, that is a good reason. Okay. Let's think about something else. What else, what else do you like about a dog? Okay, so it's, <laughs> dog is fluffy. Okay, so we'll just write here, dog is fluffy. Okay, so that is um, another reason that you think a dog would be a good pet. Okay, and then let's think about, remember, reason, one more reason why we think a dog would be a good pet. Proteger, okay, proteger means protect. So what are you trying to tell Miss Avila? Okay, so the dog can protect the human, the people? Okay, good. So another reason would be uh, the dog, dog can protect you. Okay, dog can protect you. So we have uh, play with a dog, dog is fluffy, and dog can protect you. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Let's make let's make your animal and reasons a special color. What color do you want to make it? Your favorite color, red. Okay, so we'll make we'll make yours red. Okay, we'll make your um, your writing here red. Okay, good. So let's now let me talk to your brother now. So Jordani. How about you also? Why don't you pick a color for me? What color do you want to pick? Um, what color would you like to pick? Okay, green, sure. So we'll make yours green. Oops, it's hard to see, one second. Okay. Okay, so we'll make yours green. It's kind of like a light green. Okay, 
So tell me, uh, Jordani, what is the animal that you would like to pick as um, a pet that you would like, that you think would be a good pet? A hamster. Okay, good. Okay, so what, <laughs> what do you think, what is one reason why you would like a hamster as a pet? Okay, hamster is cute. Okay, hamster is cute. So you think it's cute, it's a cute pet? Okay, let's think of, tell Mrs. Avila one more reason why you think a hamster is a good pet. Um, how do you say that in English? It is, just like it sounds in Spanish, exotic. Hamster is exotic. Okay, so you think it's kind of unique, like it's a different kind of pet? Okay, hamster is exotic. Okay. And then the last one, jugar is to play. Okay, so hamster can play with you. Okay, hamster can play with you. Okay, good. These are good reasons. So now we have our list of pros. See, we have our list of pros. Then we have our list for our other side of an animal we should not get. So now we wanna talk about an animal we do not wanna get, right? So Jordan, back to you. What animal do you think would be a bad idea? What do we not want to get as an animal? A snake. Okay, good. A snake. <laughs> okay, so I kind of, I don't like snakes either. Okay, so what is it about a snake that you think is a bad reason? A snake is really big. Okay, so a snake is really big. So it's kind of hard to fit in your house or in your room. It doesn't, it takes up a lot of space, right? Okay, what is your second reason? Peligro? Peligro means danger. Okay, so you're saying a snake is dangerous. Okay, so snake is dangerous. I agree. <laughs> a snake is dangerous. Okay. How about your next reason? Morder? Morder means to bite. So a snake can bite. Matar is to kill. Ooh, a snake can bite and kill people. Okay, that's that's true. It can be dangerous, right? So maybe a snake can do that. Okay, those are good. Those are your cons. Those are your reasons to not have a snake, right? Okay, good. Jordani, tell Miss Avila, what is the animal you choose that you do not want as a pet? Cocodrilo is crocodile. So crocodile, okay, crocodile. That is a good one. Okay, crocodile. Okay, so what is, I see a reptile theme here. So what is um, a reason you don't want to eat, have um, a crocodile as a pet? Okay, so because cro <laughs> crocodiles eat people. Okay, true. Very good. They, I guess, can maybe eat people. Okay, what is another reason um, why we do not want a crocodile as a pet? Okay, they eat crocodile, uh, eat other animals. Okay, so they, they could hurt other animals maybe, they're dangerous, maybe they're dangerous. Um, okay, good. And then one last reason, apparencia is appearance, appearance. So crocodiles, so crocodiles appearance, apparencia, appearance is, scary okay so that's like a reason not to have a crocodile okay good um all right very good so good job guys we did our first graphic organizer together um we filled it out together very good job um so we've reviewed today our pros and cons um we reviewed what an opinion is uh reasons different reasons why we would want a pet or not want a pet and then, um, good job. After this, we'll go ahead and review um, our what we know, what we would still like to know, and what we've learned. Okay, good job, guys. I'm very proud of you.